CataractCoach.com. Small Rex is fake o chop. So how is this technique any different when we're using a four and a half millimeter capsule rexus? So let's show you the surgery here. It's otherwise a normal phaco. You can see we're starting the capsule rexus. You know my forceps are marked off at two and a half and five millimeters from the tip, and you can do this to your own forceps. Simply use a disposable keratome and you can make etchings on the surface there. So let's complete, complete the capsule rexus here. And that looks pretty good. And at the end here, we're gonna measure it using those forceps, and you'll see it's just under five millimeters. So it's probably gonna be about four and a half. So here's the chop part. Buzzing in with the Faco probe, chopper goes in, and we have two halves immediately. But it's gonna be difficult to bring out one half completely. So we'll bring up a corner instead, and then chop off a piece. And so the caps rex is a little bit smaller. It's hard to bring up an entire hemineucleus after just the one chop. So instead, we'll get that hemineucleus and sub-chop it into smaller pieces and then emulsify it. So the main constraint here in doing phaco chop with a smaller caps rexus is that we have to bring those nuclear pieces up through it. So again, buzzing in, bringing up one corner of the hemineucleus, then chopping it. And that way we can bring up that corner of the hemineucleus through the smaller caps rexus. And you can see we make short work of the nucleus removal. That goes beautifully. So phaco chop definitely works very well in essentially all shapes and sizes of caps rexus openings. Ideal for me is five to five and a half. And the reason is then I can simply split the nucleus into two halves and then bring up each half for emulsification or further subtropping. But when I have a little bit of a smaller caps rexus, like in this case, we want to bring up just one corner of each hemineucleus at a time and then chop off that corner. And that's an easier way to bring up just part of it through that little bit smaller capsule opening. And we can see here, we'll insert the lens and you'll see at the end, the size of this capsule rectus is indeed about four and a half millimeters. And that's easy to compare to the optic size because the optic here is a six millimeter optic. Still going behind the IOL to remove this elastic. We'll finish up the case here. But I ask yourself, why do we make a smaller capsule rex? There has to be a reason. And so in this case, as well as many others, patients may end up having secondary surgeries that are planned in the relatively near post-op period, such as a vitrectomy with a gas bubble, or maybe a glaucoma drainage procedure, or maybe even a lamellar corneal transplant. And we want to make sure that the Iowa stays in the capsule bag if we're going to do this combination procedure or have that other procedure performed relatively soon in the post-op period. So we're going to take out that last little nuclear fragment, get this lens beautifully centered, and we'll call this done.